Hey guys, this is Scope, and we're back with more Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we went through the National Park and got through this part, and we fought and successfully captured Pseudo Widow, the tree that was blocking the way. So, in this episode, instead of going north to the next city, we're gonna go right. Because if you continue right and talk to this guy right here, he will be amazed that you wiped that tree out of the way and he will reward you with HM06, which is Rock Smash. Now, Rock Smash, pretty obviously, smashes rocks. Now, it only smacks, or smashes <laughs> certain rocks, ones that have, like, cracks in them, so keep that in mind. Anyway, and then if you go through this little, you know, building right here, you will find that you are now in Violet City once again. So let's just take a look at our little map thing right here, and you'll see that we have now completed the full circle here. See Violet City, we went down to where Bugsy was, and then Goldenrod City, and now we've come up here. So now we have easy access. So now what I want to do is, while we're here in Violet City, I'm going to go heal up. But, um, while we're pretty much as close to, you know, the city where Professor, <coughs> sorry, the city where Professor Elm is, you know, as we're going to get for a while, uh, I do want to go back there because there is an event in the storyline which takes place, um, the calls I was getting that I was ignoring was from Professor Elm. He wanted to know what the egg hatched into that we were carrying around, which we all know is Togepi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to head back there, and I will see you guys there. Alright guys, so we're back in New Bark Town now, your hometown. What you're going to want to do here is go to your Pokemon and actually switch Togepi. Oh, we don't want to see the summary, dude. Switch Togepi to the front, otherwise this will not work. So. Then we go into Professor Elm's lab, and you talk to him. Okay, and he's going to be like, whoa, so the egg hatched into a Pokemon. And he's basically going to, you know, talk a little bit about how that's amazing. And then he's going to proceed to give you an item. And that item is an Everstone, which if you give it to a Pokemon to hold, that Pokemon will not evolve. You know, works with anybody. Pretty cool. So then he's going to say how it's a great, you know, discovery that Pokemon can have from eggs and have babies and etc. And that we should further explore it. Which, you know, we will do. So anyways, that's basically all there is to do here back in New Bark Town. So I'm going to head back to Violet City and see you guys there. Okay, so we're back in Violet City and just going to show you guys. I deposited Togepi and Sudowoodoo no longer have any need for those guys and you know just in case we decide to add a party member we'll need the space so we're just gonna hop on our bike now or nothing really to do in Violet City and we're gonna continue on so we're just gonna go back to where we fought Sudo Wudu at and where the guy gave us rock climb alright and now we're gonna go north towards the next city so let's see, oh, there's an item right here, that is a super potion, very nice. Alright, so there's a couple of trainers we can fight up here, Ooh. sorry about that guys, now what I was saying is we are going to switch, oh, no we're good, so we're going to put Al and Chicken out front for this, and then fight these twins in a double bottle. Alright. So yeah, we're almost to the next city, but you know, some level up, some battling would be nice. So they got a Meryl and a Mareep. Interesting pair. This kinda is funny. Anyways, we're gonna use Thundershock to take out Meryl, cause that's uber deflective. Um, and let's have Owl use Uproar. Alright, so Chicken's Quick Claw is in effect when he does that, that's what that means. So he's gonna go first and... Oh, almost kill Meryl. But it's paralyzed, so that's nice. 
So now Al's going to use Uproar, and I'm pretty sure that hits everybody on the field. Now we'll see. Alright, so that killed Meryl. So that was a good choice. Alright, very cool. Let's see, let's see. Okay, Maripi is Thunderwave. What an asshole. Anyway. Yeah, that's what we're doing. Alright, so Uproar just hits one dude. I, I mean, a random guy, I guess. Alright. So Al's going to continue using Uproar. Alright, as long as Chicken's not paralyzed, we should have this in the bag. Oh, that's not good. For being super effective, that's kind of weak. Anyway. Oh my god, he's still alive. That little... Poo-poo face. Anyway, attack him. And he's done like dinner. Stick a fork in him, he's done. So anyway, that's that. We defeated the twins. And we're getting a phone call, but this time I'm going to ignore it because it probably isn't anything important this time. So I am now going to use that Paralyze Heal we found in the, you know, National Park. Because this is the only time it will actually get used. Anyways, and now we've got another double battle right here. I'll be right back. Okay, let's do this. Boom. Alright, I'm pretty sure this is the last battle before we can go on to Ekirtik City. But, you know, there's a path to the right too with some grass. If you go up there, you can fight somebody, I'm pretty sure. We'll see. Alright, so we're going to fight these skanks. And they've got a wiggly tough and a clefable. Interesting choice. Kinda sucks because they're a pain to kill. So I was gonna use uproar, you know, because why not? That way I don't have to choose his moves again, and it's easy for me because I'm lazy. Alright, so let's try to take out Wiggly Bitch. I mean, tough. Okay. So yeah, you know, pretty basic stuff. Nothing too hard here, nothing you guys can't handle. Alright, and in Ekirtik City, it is very nice. There's quite a couple things we can do. A little excited about it. But anyways, we should be getting a new team member quite soon. If you guys have any idea of who you want it to be, you can comment in the box below. Feel free. Alright, he's going to use Encore on Chicken, so now that means Chicken has to use Thunderbolt again. Yay! Alright, so these chicks got some other Pokemon. Okay, it looks like they both have a Clefable and Wigglytuff. whoop de doo What does it all mean, Basil? Austin Powers reference, if you guys didn't get that. Sorry. Alright, and Clefable paralyzed itself. <laughs> Alright, so both my Pokemon are pretty much controlling themselves right now. Chicken's on cord, and Al is uproaring. So I'm just watching, just like you guys. I'm an audience right now. Just watching this play out. Alright, and all they know how to do is some weak double slap moves that just, you know, waste time. Basically. Alright, so uproar again. Let's try to take... Oh, they're both paralyzed, so that's good. One of the benefits of having the Master Chicken on our team. You know. Alright, so fully paralyzed. Alright, let's do this. Let's get this over with. <coughs> oh, anyways. How was your guys' day? Oh, look, the Clefable died. We've got some new... Okay, and Chicken grew to level 21. That's always nice. Owl was not so fortunate. Alright, so she's got to use Encore on him, which was stupid, because he was using Uproar anyway. So, you know, that's dumb. Alright, now that Clefable's dead. One more Pokemon, and we're just going to double-team this lady, basically. Alright, Owl grew to level 21. Sick of sweet! Alright. And another Wigglytuff. Let's finish this off. 
this quite a long and tedious battle. Anywho, in the grass around this area, in gold and silver you could catch um, Growlithe. I'm pretty sure you still can. There might be a version exclusive, but I doubt it. You know, Growlithe was pretty cool. I'm just saying. So anyways, enough of the small talk, we have finally won the battle. Time to move on to bigger, better things. Yeah. Anyways, we are just in time for the time limit, it seems, so we're not going to make it to Ekirtik, I guess, because of the wild hoot hoots, but anyway, next time we go to Ekirtik City. See you guys next time.